thanks for stopping by. So the uh, the doublet I put up, the 94 foot, that's like 28 meters, something like that, long doublet, bent around the garden. Well, let's, let's take a look at how she uh, is set up and uh, let's reflect, or I can tell you anyway, how well she's actually performed. Let's take a look. So there's the central pole, fiberglass, of course. On the right-hand side goes down as an inverted V to a smaller fiberglass pole, and then the wire comes back towards the house, just over the fence, eventually, about two metres off the ground. It goes, the other leg goes down the other way again to another fiberglass pole, similar height, about six metres off the ground, and then comes down off the pole and just off the pole vertically to about a height, as I'll show you in a minute, of about uh, two and a half metres off the ground. I'll just point with my finger and then it goes across to that bit of the shed you can see there and then back, not on itself, but at an angle to where the orange insulator is where it's tied off to the wall. And there, if I just show you the 450 ohm coming down the uh, fiberglass pole to the one-to-one -one ballon, current ballon, and then just a skinny bit of coax at the moment, RG58, I know, I know, I know, but it goes uh, under, the, uh, under the door there to the uh, entrance into the shack. Very, very simple. So there she is, bent around the garden, not winning any prizes for artistic impression. Um, it's not a very typical uh, looking dike ball or doublet, is it? Inverted V and then bent around all shapes. But I have to tell you, I've been blown away by how well it's done. On 80 meters, for example, it tunes no problem from about 3.68 up to 3.8 megs. Um, worked all over the UK, Central Europe, Northern Europe with it, no problems at all. Um, took an active part in the RSGB competition uh, about a month ago, I think it was, on a Saturday afternoon. Made about 120 contacts, nice and easy, no problem. Uh, I've called CQ on 80 and made uh, nice little run of contacts as well with it, all over the UK and Ireland and into, as I say, places like Germany, Austria and these sorts of places, Scandinavia. Um, so it fulfills the brief on 80 metres. Um, on uh, 10 metres, when we had the Spradig E open, opening in early January, it did well. 15 metres, I've worked uh, across to the States a couple of times. Same on 17, a few times on 17. Not really tried her on 20. I've lost my mojo with 20 metres, um, but I'll probably get back into it at some stage. But the jewel in the crown in terms of performance is 40 metres. Um, tunes all those bands, by the way. Tunes no problems at all on 40. Um, and the, the con... The, all over the UK, fine when the Inter-G is up. Europe, no problems at all on 40 metres. But the jewel in the crown in terms of my contacts happened yesterday when I um, managed to make contact with uh, ZL4 RMF uh, New Zealand on SSB on 40 metres. And that was just uh, a marvellous moment for me. My first ever contact from home to ZL. And my first ever one on 40 metres to ZL. So that was nice to work Ron. Uh, five six both ways that was a 20 to 8 740 UTC 740 in the morning and uh, you know it just shows isn't it a, a, a mad looking doublet like that out there with the ends about two two and a half meters off the ground um, bent all over the shop one leg sort of coming right back this way one sort of doing zigzagging back on itself a little bit there you go just shows that when the prop is with you, the propagation is with you, and you can do anything with even a silly antenna like this. So no doubt Ron Station is doing 99.5% of the lifting, but I made the contact, and that was lovely. Anyway, there you are. So in short, guys, um, don't be afraid to sling something up that doesn't conform to normal designs. As long as you have it sort of the, the, the two legs of the doublet, 90 degrees or more, uh, in terms of how they're, how they're going away from each other in an inverted V. If it's a flat top, you haven't got to worry. You can bend her around, have a reasonably good tuner like I've got, and you're away. So there you go. I hope that's given you some confidence if you want to sling up something similar yourself that will hopefully do some good for you. And um, I might keep her up now and put up a little vertical maybe for the higher bands, but that's a different story and a different project, probably for March or April time, I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you like what you've seen, uh, then click subscribe and I'd love to have you uh, join me. 73, stay safe, take care. This is Tim G5TM. All the best now. Bye-bye.